Hey, actually, let's go for a ride. Uh, I don't want mm. to. I want you to follow me. Whoa, Cletus. Seeing as how no captains that... have been on duty. Oh, that's not possible. So you, the captains, do your job. I mean, you need mom and dad to be around to look no, at your shoulder, no, right? I don't, no, I don't think so. I don't think we need the captains at all right now, Slags. I think, I think, I think we Are need people. Are you sure people. about that? Because, because um, well, that might be true. We need more people. But at the same time, are we going to police ourselves? Are we going to self-regulate? I think we've been policing ourselves a hell of a lot more than we've been policing the rest of this city. That's what I think. I'm positive about that. And in Nagoda. How's it going, Cornwood? I'm good. How are you? So I'll talk about a couple things. Obviously, uh, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, yes, Saturday, I had three things that I was going to bring up. Okay. Canine Moner and the viability of starting to use the office up in Sandy. Okay. Before I brought any of that up, the mayor brought it up on his own accord. Oh, uh, okay. So let me ask you, Cornwood, you obviously spoke to the mayor, right? Previously about this. Yeah, I've spoken to the mayor. I've spoken to Captain Slacks about it. I feel like I've spoken to damn near everybody. All right. So the way that the mayor phrased it in real time, before he even started trying to address, like, uh, the conversation eventually led into, like, issues that are facing the PD and whatnot. But the, the conversation started with, how about we have a sheriff election and we open up the police department? That was the phraseology that was used. Are you under the impression from Max that he has the power to do that? Uh, I'm under that impression from everybody. Would you mind me asking specifically who has said that? I believe it was Max. Okay. Michael Simone. Pretty sure I remember Chief Justice Crane saying it. Malton said it. Captain Slacks also said it. He said it's up to the council. When this subject was broached, it was also started talking about like what hot, you know, what fixes the council could put in place for the PD. Chief Justice basically stated to everyone that PD is its own entity, and the council and the mayor have no say over how PD operates. Really? Maybe I'm mistaken, but I, I believe I specifically remember him telling me that whenever I was at City Hall, talking about dropping out of the mayoral election. <laughs> That's the worst time for a head pop. Sorry, I had a really, really bad headache for some reason. Bad. Sorry about that again. Yeah, no problem. Maybe you wait long enough and then have a fucking that happen. Yeah. From your point of view, I can understand if, if everyone was sort of just telling you one thing and then that's not the case now, especially with something that I know uh, you really want. I mean, well, it's not Crane even a was... want anymore. That, that's that like, am I being honest? It ain't a want. It's a need. Like, yeah, we, it's it's very, very, very bad that we're we're coming up on month three soon of the city being back open. In fact, I, I'm, I'm going to take a step further. I think both offices should be opened up at the same time. And I think I don't think we need like a, you mean Polito and, and mm -hmm. Sandy. We don't need a Polito Bay sheriff and, and a Sandy sheriff. We don't need all that. What Just we need, need them operational. We need them up and operational. Now, we yeah, we can we get to having a sheriff? Yes. But it should be a sheriff and one chain of command across the LSPD, the sheriff's office. It's just one. It's just one unified police department, exactly like I've been saying. And we treat those two stations as a forward operating base to be able to process and do shit up north. Because yes. there is so much shit happening. We had a 13 Alpha and it took maybe five, six, seven minutes before anybody could come respond. Because I'm out in the middle yeah. of nowhere and nobody's up there because you can't process, you can't pull cars out you, there's nothing you can do up there okay. i personally believe that shit should be opened up as soon as possible too because myself flop barrack uh jimmy avola we were all up there and every time i go through Polito, some crazy shit happens so now we're getting major crimes happening in Polito. it's just insane to me because i have to come all the way if i want to find any evidence or anything i have to come all the way down from sonora to los santos freeway all the way down to mrpd if i want to process any of that yeah, there's there's then, two gangs also living in Sandy Shores. There's two gangs in Sandy Shores. There's a bunch of people living in Polito. So I've okay. done all the research. You know, I've been going through and, and getting getting that stuff tagged. I was working with the Jordan yeah, receptionist on the that. Wayne County tags all over the place. Yeah, so Captain Slacks made that because he wanted he wanted us to do that so we'd have a case to open it on paper. I don't know who's doing this. I just talked to Jordan yeah. as well. She texted me and she was saying a bunch of the tags have been removed that she worked on. And myself even. Pro probably over 100. Somebody is going through and individually removing them. So I talked to the IT guy and he said he's going to let me know. Can they track who's doing that? They can. Ooh, I would be very interested to know who that is. Yeah, so I'm going to find out. I understand your goal, right? And I, I actually think that our view on 
how the PD is right now is pretty similar. I don't disagree with at all. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I mean, the way I see it, people like myself, you, Barrick, Rhodes, Suarez, Vivian Gray, you know, a, a hell of a lot more. Be I would say more than half of the folks have a uh, overwhelming sense of basically the same direction that the PD should be going. From what it sounds like to me, I keep having people come to me and say, why the hell is the sheriff's office not open? I'm like, well, you know, we're getting there. But even Captain Slacks says he's ready to go as soon as council approves it. So there is some miscommunication somewhere, not even here, but externally, about who says what. I just want to figure out how we can get the ball rolling on this thing as quickly as possible, because it just, it feels like we are way the hell behind the rest of the damn city. However, I don't think it makes sense to hold the sheriff election before we have a chief of police, if not at the very least at the same time. Right, and that's another thing that we need to figure out. If we were going to have a vote for a chief of police today, I would want to vote for Captain Turner. That's Not Ruth? I would vote for Captain Turner, without a doubt, no question. I want to have as much open and clear communication with you as possible, especially after that last council meeting. Like, I don't want you to think I'm trying to be closed off or... I feel like the more open we are about the situation and the reality of like what we're facing, which is why I wanted to communicate the things that Crane said to all of us in that meeting in regards to the mayor's power and the council's power over PD. Right. So that way you have that information and you, you, you know, you can use it to, we need to go like the direction, I guess. So the council wants it. I don't know. We okay. didn't even, I mean, it was, it basically what happened is Max brought up the, the vote and starting the new, a new department. It basically turned into a discussion about what's going on with PD, which I believe I recommended to him that he speak to the captains. So why was there not a vote? Uh, there was no vote because Crane communicated that that is not the purview of the council to vote on whether or not we think uh, an election should or shouldn't occur. So we got to talk to Crane and get to the bottom of it. I don't want you to think that I'm like nefarious in intention or anything like that. I'm gonna be yeah. perfectly honest. Okay. And and I I will be an open book with you. Sometimes the answers might be what you want to hear and sometimes they might not be because I feel like there's a perception with some people that like as liaison, I have a little bit more authority than I actually do. I'm trying to make the best change that I can with the tools that I have. I'm not going to lie to you. That's that's the best way I, I can explain okay. things. Okay. Well, forward. that's that's good to hear. Good to know. Maybe I'll talk to you tomorrow or later this week and we can get shit done. Yeah, absolutely, Cormac. Thank you for talking to me, all right? Yeah, absolutely. So Mackenzie Hayes, one dispatcher, quit today. Jalen was talking to me about wanting to quit last night. Why? Because th there's no progression in the PD at all and dispatch sucks and they can't like, they can't hire people. They have to sit in there all day alone. Focus on the interviews and dispatching and then we'll, uh, we'll convene afterwards. All right. All right. Understood. Hell yeah. Thank you for your time. No problem. I'm going to probably go back to bed and maybe play a little bit more of a uh, team fortress too. I've been addicted. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Hopefully the loneliness will go away with more people coming in. All right. I sure hope it does. I'm a social person. I need people to talk We're to. We're all social creatures. Trust me. So I mean, yes, I are. feel you. Everybody needs interactions. My opinion. Some people are really good at hiding it and masking it. Some other people just uh, crave it all the time. I'll let you and Cletus talk because it looks like he wants to talk to you. Howdy. Hey, actually, let's go for a ride. Uh, I don't want mm -hmm. to. I want you to follow me. Whoa, Cletus. You want me to follow you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? Why don't you lead the way? I have been while you were gone. Seeing as how... Have you? Yeah, seeing as how no captain's been on duty. Oh, that's not possible. Ruth was uh, around earlier. Today? Who's here today? So ye the captains do your job. I mean, you need mom and dad to be around to look no, at your shoulder, no, right? I don't, no, I don't think so. I don't think we need the captains at all right now, Slacks. I think, I think, I think uh, we need people. Are you sure people. about that? Because, because um, while that might be true, we need more people. But at the same time, are we going to police ourselves? Are we going to self-regulate? I think we've been policing ourselves a hell of a lot more than we've been policing the rest of this city. That's what I think. You sure about that? I'm positive about that. I think that's your perspective because of what you I do. Think, I think that's my perspective respect. because I'm here all damn day, every day, and I see everything that happens in this city. Which leads me to my next point right here. All right. You know how the, the sales have been a nightmare since the city opened up? How is it that what I called it? Nicholas Simone, and, and in about 12 hours' time, I had this entire cell soundproofed and redone, okay, paid $20,000 for it, by the way, for the last two months straight, everybody comes in here, and they try and process, in about less than 12 hours' time, I had Nicholas Simone come in here, redo the entire soundproofing in this thing, and he said not one person has ever told him that. Open up your MDT. Go ahead and, and you see your face right up there, your badge? Put your finger over that. You see that user settings? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Guess what? No, that, 
I don't have to. I don't have to type in all capitals no more because I cannot finally see the damn text. And then follow me. This looks different, don't it? It does look different. I like the sign as well. I'm gonna be sitting here and I'm gonna keep on talking to you. And you lock that door, and then what do you hear? You're absolutely damn nothing, don't you? No, I hear you. You hear me good, or you hear me muffled uh, as no, shit? No, you sound muffled. Yeah, you know why? So now you don't have some He's dadgum jackass in here screaming that they're hungry and shit, and we have. A bunch of people over there in interrogation trying to do their damn jobs, screaming their head off that they're hungry and they need this. Look, this is the timeout zone. With all due respect, and I, okay. I love you so much. Okay. I, I have placed so many damn requests. Okay. Then how come? Then how come the night I do it, I'm told by Mr. Simone that ain't nobody's told him that, and he he didn't know about any problems in this room, and, um, and it's, it's well, fixed the he, next he, morning. You know, I, I I don't know. Sometimes you know things fall through the crack. And when I, I, when I go you. to my MDT now. Top anything in there. Top in speeding. And then scroll to the bottom. Keep scrolling. Yeah, I mean, this is fixed. Yeah. Right. Again, that's one weekend. Well, what are you trying to say, though? I'm what so I'm, confused. What I'm trying to say is when Cornwood is involved, Corn get shit done. Okay. Okay. Hold on a second. All right. So, oh, no. I have more. I have more. Come you're, on. You're acting very disrespectful. Okay? okay. Okay. Oh, I'm acting disrespectful. Yes, you are. Okay. okay? You don't think I, I ask about these things? You don't think I hassle people? You don't think I go out of my way I, and say, I, hey, I didn't, listen, I, I didn't say that. Well, well, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to take, you're trying to say, look how what I've done over the, the weekend. Look how much, look how much I made change. Look how much I got possible. What have you done? That, no, that's not what I said. That's how you're choosing to take it. Well, I'm, I'm telling you how it comes off, right? Because uh, okay. that's how that's how it comes off to me. You might mean well, and what you're doing around here is fantastic. I'm grateful for this, very okay. grateful for this, and I do appreciate that. Right. But it's a collective effort. All of us got to buy in. No, I, right? no, I agree. Well, all of us do got to buy in. Yeah, ex yeah, exactly. Right. That's what I'm so, saying. That's what I'm saying. So here, follow me. Howdy, hey, Duncan. Slack. So when are we going Howdy. camping? Howdy, Lenny. Never. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good. What you guys talking about? Can I upset about? you again? I want to talk what to you, you about guys, something I'm, else. I'm, are we good? We, we, we good? Uh, as an officer, you're, you're in good standing with me, as far as I know. I can't open the door. Maybe the, maybe I'll get that fixed. You, yeah, you week. should probably get that fixed. Yeah, I'll, I'll work on that one next. We were taking reports in the lobby from people in here, and you could hear people sitting here all the way across the room to the door diagonally. So there I was, remember that, yes. Yeah, there was privileged information being shared by any any bozo that walked into here. They need 77 on the radio, by the way. Okay, let's get out. 42. Let's roll. Okay, you know, that, um, that female is here, but I'm that teal car is not. Farm. She did not get into okay. that teal car. We're going to have cows, chicken, goats. Let's they did like yeah, a hyper right. swap or something. Listen, uh, Clutus, when you look at a cow, what do you see? It's uh, coming. I look at a cow, we, uh, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot. Would you ever have a cow as a pet? Yeah. So like why do we eat no it? Blue, it's about no, nourishing no. the body. You know, you can eat a cow, you can drink a cow, raise a cow, you can kill a cow. It's the whole damn circle of life. A I cow goes through it, it provides it. Garage. Yeah, like I said, I can't wait. I mean, that's a dream of mine one day to just uh -huh. settle down, be done with being a police officer. <clears throat> just, you know, wake up every single day and go grab the, the, the eggs and the chicken and the chicken coop and just live off the farm you know no yeah. bullshit no politics none of that none of this do this do that this person is complaining come fix this just peace and harmony you know what i hear all the time cornwood's good at the politics but the truth is i just i just tell the truth and i think that's the damn problem is you got too many people that don't they don't say it like it is and they don't tell the truth and then what ends up happening is you know they go for these short-term victories when at the end of the day there's only one thing that matters and it's that everybody moves forward together and that's the problem so I, you know, and I think if you're just telling the truth and being honest with folks, and that's what's going to happen. What if the truth hurts? <clears throat> what if folks don't want to hear the truth? And uh, telling the folks the truth might do more damage and actually, you know, progress, right? Well, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's that short term, for lack of better word, it's a short term loss for a long term gain. Sometimes people don't want to hear the truth, but the truth is what it is. And then once you realize it and you can adapt to the truth, you know, it might be hard to deal with. It puts you in a situation where you can fix it. And that's where that's where that integrity comes in. That's the value of integrity. But we got a problem. Oh, hold on. I'll take Heard that. the cattle. Come yeah, on, it's a 1054. Hold on. Hold on now. Come on back. Come on over here. Ain't nothing to be scared of. Oh, hold on. Hey, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Away. hey. Hey, I'll get you the car. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. There you go. Get in, get in, get out. I'll try to stop it. I'm foot. Okay, I think it was reaching. You have a knife? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> it ran face first into the truck. <laughs> 
Oh, well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of our actions. That's a roadkill right there. Well, yeah, she'll be fine. What the... can, you t can you carry it to the back and we can take it down to the station and uh, or the butcher shop? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Slacks. The cow symbolizes everything, and when you take every part of the cow, you got every facet of life. And that's what makes you whole, just like whole milk. <laughs> All right. Sounds good to me. I'm not sure what's going on, but I like it.